Luigi's Mansion, the first game I ever got from my favorite system of all time. So yeah, this game brings back a lot of memories from my childhood. I played this game all the time, and it was definitely one of my one of my favorites. So I'm sure you can imagine just how excited I was to receive this action figure for Christmas one year. This is the Luigi's Mansion figure made by Joyride Studios, who also made um, a, I believe they made a Metroid figure. They made figures for Sonic Adventure 2, which uh, I actually have. I have the shadow that they made. Joyride also made a Mario and Yoshi from Super Mario Sunshine. Now, I'm sure every collector has a figure or just something that they wished they'd picked up but they never did and they probably never will because it's too expensive that Mario Sunshine figure is probably the the thing that I regret not picking up the most and I will always hate myself somewhat for doing that but I always had the Luigi's Mansion figure to uh, keep me happy um, since this is an older figure, and since I got this when I was a kid, when I wasn't really a collector yet, um, the figure is missing the Poltergeist 3000, its base, and some parts to the ghost. Uh, so, yeah, sorry about that. So here is the figure's head. It is a really, really great, great head. Um... Seriously looks like it was ripped right out of any given Mario game. Um, he's got, you know, big head. He's got a huge nose, uh, big white eyes. Uh, his mouth is open, kind of he's scared, which is accurate to the game. Uh, big old ears. Um, nice, really nice hat. His uh, hair, really bright green. I love it. The L. And seriously, this figure's head is huge. It is definitely the biggest thing on the figure. Uh, the colors are all accurate. The skin is right. The mustache is great. The um, brown for the hair is spot on. He's even got the long hair. Uh, also, there's not many paint problems on the figure. There's some scuff marks up there. But that's just because the figure's really old. And because he's been through a lot. Um, yeah, there's really not much to complain about on the uh, the face. It's uh, pretty much just a perfect, uh, perfect face. Now, the accuracy and perfection does not stop there. He is wearing bright green shirt all the way to his gloved hands. Really great. Uh, and then he's wearing the blue suspenders, as he should be. Uh, they really did great detailing this figure. I mean, they got the patches there. Not the patches, but the kind of stitching. Again, the colors are spot on. They are pretty much exactly, you know, how they are in any Mario game. The green looks fantastic. The blue looks just great. Uh, there is some detail on the uh, suspenders to show creases, things like that. Really cool. Uh, like I said, this figure is old, so some paint is starting to come off. There are some scratches. Uh, I am glad that the paint's only coming off on the side, not on the front. So you can see his hands here are both sculpted to hold the Poltergeist 3000. But as I said, uh, I do not have that because I got this a while ago and I lost most of the the stuff. So, yeah. Uh, his feet are kind of in a 
almost crouching kind of position. Uh, again, the feet look great. All right, now let's talk about uh, articulation. His head moves all the way around. His arms can move all the way around. They bend like this. Uh, his hands cannot be rotated, but you know they go in and out. So does this one. Again, cannot be rotated. Uh, his feet can rotate around. The figure does not have problems standing. Uh, his feet actually, you know, don't make him fall over or anything. His big head doesn't make him too top heavy. Uh, he's a very balanced figure. Uh, as much as I do love this figure, there is a downside. He breaks way too easily. In fact, I'm going to take him apart right now. It's that easy. So yeah, he comes apart like that. I don't know if this was meant to happen, but from the minute I opened it up, he was this loose, and you could take him apart this easily. Uh, you can also put him back together very easily. You just snap them in like that. Put his hand in there, his other arm in there. You gotta hold his head in there, and you just snap his body back together. The looseness of the figure is really the only thing that I would I would have to complain about with the figure. Other than that, he is a really perfect figure. Um, other than the poltergeist, he comes with a rug that says the name of the game on it. It just says Luigi's Mansion. And uh, he comes with a ghost. Uh, I have parts of the ghost. I don't have the entire ghost. I don't have the uh, his arms. Uh, so what, what what you would do is you would hook his back into the poltergeist. Um, so it looks like he's being caught. Uh, you plug his arms in there. Uh, it's a really great looking ghost. Um, to be accurate to the game, you could see his heart there. Really cool. Um, and he's got this little little beam of something here. But yeah, it's a very cool looking ghost. I like the translucentness and the uh, the heart there, which is really accurate to the game. Um, for any fan of Luigi's Mansion, for any fan of Nintendo, or for any fan of Mario or Luigi in general, I would definitely recommend this. If you could find this figure, pick it up. Um, you might not have the best time trying to find it, or if you do, it's probably not going to be cheap. But uh, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. It's really worth it.